got a lot of really nice messages after my last vlog. Um, not really great at being sincere. Sarcasm is my kind of default mode. But I really do appreciate all the people that took the time to message me and it was really nice. Really do appreciate that. And all the people that actually watched the vlog and gave me good feedback on that as well. So thanks a lot. But tonight I'm off to the cinema. It's a Cineworld secret screening, which means I have no idea what the film actually is. That's how much I love films. I don't even know what I'm going to see, and I'm still going to go see it. I've been to a few of these secret screenings before, and they've always been pretty good films. They always come out way in advance. So, looking forward to it. So, my secret film was Love Simon. Don't know if there's any spoilers I'm about to say, because I don't, don't know anything about it before going in. Basically, about a white teenager who struggles with being gay. Um, it's kind of weird because at times it's quite, quite, I think quite powerful at times but then it has like slapstick humour like immediately after which kind of like throws the tone all off so yeah, if you want to see a film like this maybe see Moonlight I think it's a much better film just come over to my wee mammy's house to get my bike finally ready for Brands Hatch. I'm pretty sure I saw a swan racing a seagull down the Clyde. Probably think I'm a bit ridiculous for saying that, but I'm going to say something else a bit ridiculous. I actually really pride myself on my ability to cross the road, as daft as that sounds. But I almost hit five pedestrians cycling over here, people just walking out in front of the road. Do people not look anymore? Look where you're going when electric cars come in. Like people are going to get run over left, right and centre. People just cannot cross the road. You can dodge traffic, you can dodge the ball. I can dodge traffic. That's the bike all finished, now ready for Brands Hatch. Rain and snow, freezing conditions. Freezing condition. Yeah, that's that's not really good for racing. Oh, hello, new email from UCAS. Let's see what this says. Track an update on your UCAS obligation. Oh, let's track that. Do, 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 do. Sign in. Mm -hmm. Track. That's me. Your obligation. Unsuccessful or drawn in full. Oh. Off to see Tomb Raider at the IMAX. Tomb Raider review, very medium. I wouldn't bother. Although I did. So, don't know what that means. Well, good news and bad news is the good news is the race is off today at Brands Hatch. Um, because of the bad weather, the Beast from the East Part 2 has come in. It's going to be freezing conditions, so they decide to cancel it. That's good news because I'll actually get my money back. I don't think it was going to go. And um, because it was so cold, bad news is um, no racing. So, but I've come down to RST today to get myself a new race suit, which I was meant to do in a way to Brands Hatch. That's the real size of motorbike racers. That's my new RST suit. Well. I was meant to be racing motorbikes today, now I don't know what to do. As I've got nothing to do today, I might as well go do a wee bit of exercise, so I'm going to go for a wee swim. I was watching some nonsense on YouTube last night and I found this video on MasterChef USA where Gordon Ramsay was telling them how to make scrambled eggs. But the secret behind any great scrambled egg is to make sure you do not overcook it. Don't people know how to make scrambled eggs and isn't master chef for people that can already cook? Anyway, I thought I would show you how I make my scrambled eggs. Ingredients, get some eggs, some milk, some butter, salt and pepper, and that's it. Put your eggs in. Give them a scramble. Splash your milk. Pepper. Salt, get your pot, big bit of butter, flame on really low. When the butter goes like that, lob the eggs in. Just keep the eggs moving so that it all cooks evenly. Eggs done. 
I mean, look at these people that are amazed by eggs. It's on the top, and let them sprinkle. What? Now I like my eggs uh, spicy scrambled egg and toast, so we're gonna make it rain with some Tabasco. Now another top tip, if you're gonna make it rain Tabasco, put your contact lenses in before you do, because that will sting. I thought I'd do a wee bit of self-improvement, so I decided to get this book. Um, it was recommended in the Property Podcast, one of our top five books to read. It's got a bit of a terrible title, How to Win Friends and Influence People. It was published in 1956, I believe. But I'm going to try and read it in the next week and see if it will make any difference. 1953 it was. Any difference and uh, see if it changes my mind and how I maybe connect with people and stuff like that. So that's next week's plan. But... That's the end of this week. Um, please give me a subscribe down the bottom, really means a lot. And give me a thumbs up if you like the video.